I would say this is one of the hardest projects that we worked on on the homestead this season. The panels were brought to us by Santan, and that is our sponsor and collaborator for this video. The website and my coupon code will be in the description below. We can get a 5% discount. We were able to get them home, get them unloaded, and get started on this project. First of all, we had to put the hinges on before getting them up onto the shipping container, which was a process. We did end up changing the way we did it. At first, we put the panels up separately, but decided that it was more efficient to put them together on the ground, get all the panels together, and then get them up onto the shipping container. Once all the panels were completely put together, we started raising them up and putting them into place. It did work much better this way. Jeff did build a structure for us to get the panels up easier and support the weight so we wouldn't have to hold them. And then we started bolting them in to the top rail of the shipping container. Wasn't the easiest process to drill through the top beam of the shipping container, but we did get it done. Each set of panels has three hinges on it that can support up to 450 pounds, which the panels weigh about 30 to 40 pounds a piece. Yay, it's done. Well, not really. The solar panels are done, but we still have to work on the posts. That's what we're gonna do today. Most of them are debarked. I think there's only two that aren't out of the five and then we're gonna burn them. I wanna say that installing the post was the hardest part of the job, but it was all kind of strenuous and taxing, but we did get it accomplished and I'm proud of the results. And like that, the posts are done. I shouldn't say like that because it totally was not like that. The next and final step was cutting the posts down. That way they didn't create a shade onto the solar panels. I'd say this process was the easiest out of everything. The main video is linked below if you want to check that out. All right, awesome. That job is done got the tops of the post cut and also oiled and she is ready for winter. Don't forget the links will be in the description below.